Hey guys, what's going on? I got this awesome rum cocktail kit from Shaker and Spoon. And tonight I'm going to make the Hemingway and Nika. And I'm really excited. So the recipe calls for a lightly aged blended rum. The best way I can do is the super yummy um, plantation double aged rum, um, which is one of my favorites. So I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed with the outcome here. So let's get started. tasted this yet so this is my first taste it's a really nice nose of definitely a lot of rum a lot of spiced rum vanilla caramel notes so the first impression is the rum pops in a really yummy way this um, orange grapefruit syrup is um, really subtle warming um, refreshing a little bitter it adds a nice like warmth and almost wintry um element to this cocktail which i know seems strange by the time of year that i'm doing it but i'm not mad at it i think it's really yummy i like grapefruit and orange and i like bitter that's what it's giving me and then at the end it's really just the lime brightness balancing everything out so really what we're dealing with here is a really awesome um play off the of daiquiri which is why it's called hemingway um I'm sure many of you have heard of a Hemingway daiquiri, um, which is not similar, not super similar to this, but I feel like all the elements are there and it's clever and it's working and I'm into it. The uh, whole process of making it was very easy. Hardest part I'd say was just juicing the limes, but I think that if you are a better bartender than me and have a juicer, it would be a lot easier. I know it surprises a lot of people. I don't have like a, a juicer at home. Um, the reason being, I usually just buy my lime juice pre-juiced because I make so many cocktails throughout the week that I would go crazy juicing fresh lime, lemon, grapefruit, whatever I'm working with. Um, don't order, it's just too much for me. Really quick, I just want to kind of talk about this um, syrup from Shaker and Spoon that they make because I think it's important to just taste it on its own and know what we're getting into. The nose is really very minty, which is kind of surprising because I don't get a lot of that in the actual drink. The palette on this is very white grapefruit juices and then also the pith. Honestly, the orange is more subtle. It's more of an orange zest on the back. Yeah, that's great. Honestly, that would make a great mocktail, like a lemonade. Even, you don't even need to add booze. That's really delicious and refrigerate after opening easy enough thank you so much shaker and spoon for sending me this awesome box guys this was just my first box um, and there's two more cocktails in this alone stay tuned for all those other cocktails and then the second box that i got uh, from these guys so thanks for tuning in thank you shaker and spoon and have a great night